Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, it's 17 June. Crazy day yesterday. A couple of news bombs. Um, made it fairly difficult uh, to get a real beat on things. And then the fix was just, uh, I would call it annoying, is the best way to, to describe it. Here are the fixed lows in, in Euro 112.28. Um, we got caught in the Mex. The Mex mess. The Mexican massacre. Uh, we were short dollar Mex. I don't know, our average was around 23. Um, but then we got taken out when dollar Mex ripped from uh, 95 up to 35. Should pull the chart up just to re relive the misery. So we were short max, looking pretty good. Traded down to 89. And then all of a sudden we're like, huh? Bang, 30. Bang, 35. Okay, to be fair, uh, max is at 40 now. So the whole thing was a botch, but just a bit of a startling hourly bar, right? 93 to 30. There was news of like COVID deaths in Texas and everyone got fairly nervous. Equities went down to 64. Bang. Which filled the gap exactly. Um, and then back up, straight back up to 30. So, crazy stuff. 80 handles down, 70 handles up, and here we are, 31.15. Nothing to see here. Uh, shows you the liquidity of the market is terrible. Um, and people are, are nervous. The herd is spooked. The herd is spooked about not being long. The herd is spooked about not being short. So let's just call it spooky herd. Today we have um, CPI from the UK and from Canada. Um, I guess we have Aussie unemployment tonight. The charts need a break now. So... We're going to be very, very quiet this morning. You can see everything's about in the middle of nowhere. This is an interesting point uh, if we go risk off 1735. We were pretty sure the dollar was going to get slammed yesterday because of this corporate bond buying, but the more we ask about it and the more we look around, I don't think the Fed's going to buy any bonds. Um, just the the idea that the Fed is on the bid will keep the bond market priced at 100 and um, so the balance sheet's not going to increase at all um, really in the end quite a clever move so it's you know even though we do like the dollar lower in general just because of the balance sheet and because of the supply of dollars that have increased um, if we do go risk off, which could happen, uh, obviously with any, uh, any comment, this pivot up here is interesting now, 1736. I mean, yesterday we were conviction short EM, thinking 2150 was going to trade in dollar max by Friday. Um, and then it was just put into the blender, to the slaughterhouse the rest of the pigs um, shame so but this is interesting now um, you could actually argue both sides are interesting 90 uh, or 35 and dollars are getting ready for MPC tomorrow um, you know everyone's gonna get pretty bearish sterling going in tomorrow so the risk tomorrow is they're not as bearish um, be hard to see how they could not you know I think they're probably gonna Increase QE. Um, 
But we'll see. We'll see. Every, one thing we do know is that um, everyone's bearish. Bank of Brazil has got a rate rate announcement today. <laughs> Can you believe Brazilian rates are two and a quarter? We don't trade dollar Brazil, but just let's just just take a look. Wow, up to six. It basically looks like this is going to do one big ass Argentina. Um, but with Brazilian rates at two and a quarter, it's it's hard for me to understand why anyone would want to know uh, want to own Brazilian fiat paper. Uh, but that's just me. It's a good goal. Shake out left, shake out right. 06 to low a couple days ago. Yesterday it was basically 20, 40. The longer this consolidates, the more important these breaks are, right? So 1776, I'll say it again, I'll say it again, I'll say it again. But also now, 1670, so get this $100 range, bang, 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 pinball wizard. Um, keep an eye. Who knows what the trigger is going to be? EuroCAD, same type of chart. We've had consolidation now since the beginning of April. Um, this has to resolve itself uh, on fitty fitty. Uh, and uh, top side's a little bit less clear, but probably 154.50. Uh, but this 400 point Ethiopian shim sham uh, needs to resolve itself. All you youngsters, you never saw Mel Brooks in the history of the world. You should go back and check that shit out. Funny fucker. Um, what else? Yes. A couple things of note. Um, 3184. We had some fun with that number a couple, uh, I guess it was last week. I can't even remember. But that was your sort of waterfall down moment. Uh, so that'll be resistance first time. 3184. Keep that in your head. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to see it. This COVID fear, I think, is going to rear its ugly head. Um, but 3184 is resistance. Downside, I don't even know what to do with this. I mean, you know, we're 200, 200 handles from two days ago. I don't even like apples anymore. Um, Dollar Norway, we didn't sell at 11, even though that was our plan. Just botch that. Um, next time up, it is not a sell. Uh, if we go back up to 11, we'll probably sneak back up to 11.20. That will usually mean it's risk off and oil's crashing and all that stuff. Um, so just showing this chart that the next time up it is not a sell so just be careful with that if you did sell it <clears throat> great it looks like we're just going to play this 10 50 um 11 sort of 30 game next sell point up there i think is between 11 20 and 11 30 uh, but nothing to do here at 10 80. listen uh not much to do here. We got these CPIs. Powell speaking again. Um, he'll be he'll be kind of sad in his sort of Powell-y way. Um, and CPIs and Brazil. If you trade Brazil, we got rates today. So the thing about Brazilian rates, it's it's, it's, it's pretty surprising, right? They're not too predictable. So. You know, I think I'm reading here, or I read this morning that 90 pips is priced in. Some guys are saying they're going to go 50, some 75, so that Brazil's probably going to move. Um, anyway, good luck out there, people. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Should be a better trading day tomorrow, NPC. Ciao.